in the social media world, the term influencer refers to someone who has access to a large audience that usually they can persuade to buy a product or to jump on the latest trend. But this video series is not about that kind of influencer. It's about those who have had an influence on my faith journey. This past Sunday, I was able to preach on one of my favorite Bible verses, 1 Corinthians 15, 58, where Paul writes, Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is never in vain. In this video series, I just want to honor those who have had an influence in my life by giving themselves fully to the work of the Lord and to share one lesson that I learned from each of them. So the first influencers I want to talk about actually came into my life as a group of three. Their names were Sherry, Carlin, and Stefan. Sherry, Carlin, and Stefan were two years older than me in high school. And in the summer of 1994, after I graduated from high school, they came back from their respective colleges and they formed a youth group in town. And they invited a lot of people they knew, including my girlfriend at the time, and she invited me. And honestly, I don't remember much of what they taught that summer, but I remember that there was something real there, that Sherry and Carlin and Stefan had a connection to God that I did not have, nor did I even think was possible. At that time, my conception of God was that he was some being up in the sky, irrelevant to my daily life. And as long as I was a good person, really that's all that mattered. But during my time in that youth group in the summer of 1994, I began to understand that there was so much more to God, that you could have a relationship with God that was so much more real than anything I had ever known. In the end, it was through the willingness of Sherry, Carlin, and Stefan to give themselves fully to the work of the Lord in the summer of 1994 that I began to pray I began to speak to God as if he were there. And ultimately, on the second day of college, I found myself kneeling beside my bed at UConn and praying to the Lord and saying, God, I know where I belong, and it's with you. But here's the thing about Sherry, Carlin, and Stefan. After that summer, not one of them followed up with me. None of them tried to keep in touch with me or to disciple me once I went off to college. They simply spent one summer planting the seeds of the gospel into my life and the Holy Spirit took it from there. After that second day of college, when I knelt beside my bed, I was different. I found myself looking for a Christian fellowship group, something that I never thought I would have done when I enrolled at UConn. I wanted to read the Bible. I wanted to know everything I could about God, and the Bible came alive to me and began to speak into my life in ways that I had never thought possible. I began to have a sensitivity to sin in my life, things that I had once thought were no big deal, now I realize were harmful to me and to others. It was as if I had become a new life in Christ, as if he had put his spirit in me, as if I was a new creation. And 25 years later, I've never once considered turning back from God or from this incredible life that I have of knowing and serving him. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 5-6, through 6, Paul is frustrated by the divisions he sees in the Corinthian church, and he writes this, What after all is Apollos? And what is Paul? Only servants through whom you came to believe as the Lord has assigned to each his task. I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God made it grow. What after all are Sherry, Carlin, and Stefan? They may just be servants through whom I came to believe, servants of God who, at least for one summer, gave themselves fully to the work of the Lord. But I can sit here 25 years later and testify that their labor was not in vain, that their willingness to serve God and to sow seeds of the gospel into the lives of so many people, especially this 18-year-old, have had eternal significance. Can I encourage you? Give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Sow seeds of the gospel. Be an influencer wherever God has placed you. Take heart. Your labor in the Lord is never in vain.